Many survivors reaching out. The Cleveland Rape Crisis Center is also seeing a lot more volunteers stepping up. News 5 anchor Frank Wiley spoke with one volunteer today about why she took on this emotional new role. Confession shoves them into a long line of victims. Sometimes they narrate the vile invasion. Would you come forward? It's drawn up on a police report. Samples are taken and stacked with others. Hopefully if the rape kit does get tested. They no longer feel safe inside their own skin. Who worries about them? Rachel Hill does as a rape crisis volunteer. Strangers, usually women, show up at hospitals and share their worst experiences. I have sat in a room while a rape kit was being conducted. I've sat in the room when detectives had asked some of the most intrusive questions possible. Rachel says she just sits and listens. Otherwise, folks are alone at the hospital or courtrooms. She told me sometimes the assault starts with the victim's body. Then it shifts to their character. Women often are victim shamed. Where even other women would say, well, what was she doing there with those people? Why was she wearing that? A life-changing moment. Survivors introduced to attackers and advocates, only hoping to meet justice. Frank Wiley, News 5.